Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ozark Outpost. This is Operation Goliath, Germany. What are we up to now? I believe it's 9.1. Ah, it's been a little while, you know, springtime. Busy getting outside stuff done on my days off and, you know, things come up once in a while, but I'm back. Okay, Germany is going to do a turkey roll. Get over here. If I can get a hold of these dice. There we go. Turkey roll. And there's a one. They hit it. So the axis now has three influence points with turkey. One more, and Italy will take control of. Okay, now on to our tech. Germany's trying for advanced artillery, advanced mech, advanced submarines, improved fact or wartime economy, and improved factories. There's one, there's one, there's one. 50, a little over 50%. So they got advanced mech. Well, shit. I got wrong colors in here. No, oh, no, no, no. That's the right color. This orange is the wrong color. It should not have been in there. So they hit two out of five. Advanced mech and wartime economy. So advanced mech is completed. Wartime economy is completed. So let's have a look at the tech chart over here. There you go. Germany has finished advanced mechanized, long range aircraft, and wartime economy. You see their advanced submarines and advanced artillery are at stage three. So Germany's going to get some more money this turn. Okay, for their purchase, the Germans started out with 47 Reichsmarks. They spent two on the turkey roll, leaving 45. They're buying two Fallschirmjagers for four each is eight. Two fighters for a total of 20 makes 28. Three infantry for 12 makes 40. A mechanized makes 44. And they have one mark set aside for an SS upgrade once that uh, mechanized unit goes on the map. Okay, now combat. Okay, let's see here. The uh, Merchant Raider is gonna hit the uh, West Atlantic line. This Coastal Sub is also, well, he's actually gonna move over here one space, make him chase him. He's also raiding the West Atlantic Line. Down here in the South Atlantic, this U-boat is going to raid the West Africa Line in that zone. This one's moving one space down here to raid in uh, 114. <clears throat> and that's all the action at sea. Uh, there won't be anything happening in uh, Argentina. They just, you know, the only offensive unit they have left down here is an artillery, and it can't do much by itself. Over here, however, uh, it's time for the Germans to roll the dice. They don't have the luxury of time. So they're, they're going to have to make something happen. The Americans are in the war now. Um, the Italians have lost their navy. The Germans have lost their navy. Uh, neither one really at this time is in a position to replace those navies. So uh, they're, they're going to have to try to make some stuff happen on land. Oops, sorry, I keep seeing stuff. 
I had my window down here open the other day when it was windy as hell. And some of my pieces on the map got blown over by it. It's, I don't know, some of you remember a couple of years ago, uh, when I had a different setup in a different house. I had a window open and my table was right under the window and the curtains flipped with the wind blowing through and just wiped, just swept everything off my map. I, I had, I got so mad, I just, I stopped the game in, in the middle of it and just called it a no contest. The curtains obviously can't get my map in this house, but the wind was coming through there hard enough, it blew a bunch of stuff over. So hopefully I got everything back in the right place. Anyway, digression over. Uh, the Germans are declaring their uh, lightning attack this turn. So from Belgium here, we've got, uh, it's that card right there. We've got an infantry, an artillery, a self-propelled artillery, two SS Panzers, and uh, four mechs that are going to attack Picardy. And they're going to be supported by three tactical bombers flying out of uh, Western Germany. And then in Western Germany, we have four Panzers here that are going to one, two into Lorraine, going around the Maginot Line through Belgium uh, to attack that territory. And they're going to be supported by two fighters flying out of Western Germany. Oh, excuse me. So that's that. As I said, it's Germany has to make something happen. They're, they're either going to win or they're, they're going to go down fighting. And then up here in Scandinavia, uh, the two Fallschirmjagers in uh, Trondelag are going to attack Finnmark. And that's it for combat. So we're going to do the uh, Merchant Raider first. So let's get over here. And let me check real quick. Okay, here we go. Plus one modifier for the Merchant Raider. And that's no joy. It's not even close. Okay, we're going to do the coastal sub over there off Canada next. That is a damage of one. So that's one off of the West Atlantic line. Now we will do the U-boat uh, in the South Atlantic that is being opposed by a destroyer on escort duty. So uh, that's plus one. Let me make sure. Okay, slight change. I had forgotten that the uh, British have advanced ASW. So that U-boat uh, actually moved two spaces down to uh, C-Zone 115, and he's going to raid unopposed. So. Okay, there's plus two is six. Let me see. That's a tie. No joy, because Advanced ASW gives them a plus one modifier on the convoy. So it's no damage. And uh, the convoy line gets a defense shot at two, which misses. Okay, now the other U-boat down there goes. He's no joy. They get their defense shot. That's a miss. And I forgot. Let's see. Yeah, I messed up. That... Uh, Coastal sub 
will be no damage because of the plus one modifier for AS, advanced ASW. And they get their shot at him, which is a hit. The coastal sub is now on the bottom of the Atlantic. So he's gone. Okay, we got all that straightened out. Now, time for the fight in France. Uh, we'll do the attack on Picardy first. I'll get her set up and we'll see what happens. Okay, we got the attackers here. We've got uh, three, seven Germans attacking on a three. Uh, two of those are artillery, so they will have first strike. Then we've got two SS Panzers. They attack on a seven. And then we got three tactical bombers who are taking off from uh, Western Germany where there is a commander. So they have a plus one bonus and are attacking at eight. The defenders have two militia. Uh, the, the French have uh, commander support. So we get two militia defending at three. You get two AA guns defending at four. You have two British, which do not get a bonus from a French commander defending at their normal four. And then you've got five infantry defending at five. So the first thing we gotta do is get everybody out of here, except the two artilleries that get first struck. Both of those miss. Now take them out. And everybody else goes. All right, what do we got here? There's one defense hit. There's another defense hit. That's a miss, that's a miss. Defense hit, defense hit, miss. Misses. Okay, now on the attacker side. There is a target select hit by a tactical bomber and a regular hit by a tactical bomber. A hit by a panzer. And that's it. Everything else missed. They're pathetic. Okay, so the target select hit. And one of the, that that's an AA hit. So that has to kill one of the uh, tactical bombers, that yellow die. So they're gonna take a target, the Germans are gonna take a target select on an infantry and kill it. And then for the other two hits, uh, the French are gonna take those on their two militia. Okay, now the Germans have to lose a tactical bomber one of those is gone. And then they're going to kill an infantry. And one mech. Okay, so there's that. So the Germans have to take off two orange. So that's those two. The French lose their two white dice. And one of their black dice. Okay. Oh yeah, and the, the AA guns are... The AA guns only fire on the first round. I'm pretty sure. Let me double check that to be sure. Okay, a little mess up. We need more AA fire. I didn't give them enough rolls. They've had two of their rolls. They should have had, there was two AA guns there. 
three planes attacking, so they should have had a total of six rolls. So they need four more. And they get two more hits because they are bumped up to a four by the commander bonus. So, all three of the German tactical bombers are shot down by the AA. Okay, now we got that straightened out. So, oh, the Germans got to think about this. They, they just lost their air cover. Well, I mean, shit. I mean, really, what do you do? You just lost your air cover. It's uh, one, two, three is five. It's seven attackers going against four, six defenders. But they've got two AA guns that they can choose as the first two casualties. Well, Germans are going to have to try it. Like I said, they've got to make something happen. So, they've got three, five oranges, and two reds is what they've still got in the game. And then two blues and four blacks for the defenders. There's a defense hit. There's a defense hit. One attack hit. Yep, that's all I see. Okay, so the French are going to kill one of the AA guns. And the Germans have to take two casualties. Which they're going to have to take is two mechs. That's the second round of combat. Yeah. I don't know if there's any point in continuing now because they, uh, they're, they're not going to be able to blitz as, as part of the lightning attack now. Yep, they hmm. Yeah, the the Germans are just gonna have to retreat. This this just didn't work out. Okay, since the German attack into Picardy failed, the uh, attack on Alsace Lorraine has to be cancelled because the uh, the Panzers cannot attack across that vertex from Belgium straight into Alsace-Lorraine. They would have to come to Picardy and then make a hard left. They can't do that now, so that attack is canceled. So, that's going to take us to non-combat. Uh, the Panzers from Western Germany are moving up to Belgium. So that's... Four Panzers. Being added to that card down there, down here. We're also going to move the two fighters up to Belgium. And we're going to move Manstein. Uh, to Belgium in Western Germany. We'll assign him an army staff off camera. Um, and we're going to rail these two infantry from Eastern Germany
we're going to rail them to Belgium. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot the attack up there in Norway. I don't need to move stuff over here to do that. So let's just get her done. There's two Falschemjagers attacking on a one in the mountains. And there's one militia defending. Everybody miss. Everybody miss. Everybody miss. Everybody miss again. They, they better go back to the rifle range and learn how to shoot. Everybody miss again. Again. Again they miss. And again, there's twos come up. It wasn't mountains the Germans would have won a while ago. All right, there's a hit. The Finnish militia misses. So, the Germans, in their really lone bright spot of this turn, capture Finnmark. Get the round along there. Germans go up one from 35 to 36. And that's that. Okay, now we got that straightened out. Now we're back to non combat. All right, I think we're done moving stuff there. Um, I think they're okay. Yeah. They're not going to move anything down in Argentina. So yeah, that's it for... Oh, wait a minute. We forgot a, a combat thing. The uh, Partisan. The Finnish Partisan there uh, gets to do a Partisan action. So that means rolling... 1d12. Let me find my chart here. Okay, there we go. There's my partisan action. So let's roll and see what, if anything, happens. They rolled an 8. Uh, oh, wait, I had to choose what I want them to do. Okay, duh. So now I choose and then I'll well it doesn't matter what I what I would have chosen. Uh an eight is a failure on all of them. So that's that the partisan action failed. Alright, non combat. Now as long as we're here, uh We're going to do two roll, two partisan generation rolls for the Finns. One for Southern Finland. No, we just get to do Southern Finland. And that's a miss. Yeah, that's a miss. They had to roll a 12 to hit one. So, no partisan there. Now we place units. So let's get down here where we can see. Okay. Two Falschemjagers are going to go, you know, let's do another non-combat move I forgot about. Move the air transports, the Junkers, Ju-52s, down to Bavaria. That's where the two Falschemjagers are going. Two fighters 
are going, well, let's do another non-combat, move that commander over there. Two fighters are going in Western Germany. These three infantry are also going in Western Germany. The mechanized is, uh, we're gonna put the mechanized in Eastern Germany and we had the, uh, the one Reichsmark to upgrade him. He's getting upgraded to the uh, fourth SS uh, Polizei uh, division. So I'll put that uh, marker under him off camera. That's all units placed. Okay, collect oil. The uh, German oil uh, was actually with the doing the rail movement. German oil is minus one. So I will take one oil away from them right here. It's supposed to come from home country stock, but we'll just say we transfer it. Make it easy. Okay, now collect uranium and heavy water. Germany adds one of each of those to its stockpile. Lots and lots of heavy water, or uranium, I mean. Okay, we got those. Now we collect money. Germany is at 36. They get plus seven for their resources. And then they get plus another four for their uh, wartime bonuses. The, uh, the rules don't say whether you should or not. The Germans are getting five from Swedish iron ore. The uh, national reference sheet gives them another three for a neutral or uh, German controlled Sweden. So there's three and then plus one for Trondelag. So that's plus 11 on to 36 makes 46. Forty-seven. There we go. And now we got three recruitment roles: Argentina, Iraq, and Finland. Argentina. So I believe they got that one. One, two. Yep. They. So Argentina is going to choose. Ar or no, scratch that. Argentina is German controlled. Never mind, they don't get that. Sorry. Iraq. Iraq missed. And then Finland. Finland missed. So no recruitment. All right. It looks like that's it for this one. Uh, things not going too good for the Germans. We'll see what happens. Ozark Outpost, over and out.